Now, a lot of places you would be having enhancement. And with that enhancement in the multiple places, you have added the custom fields. Many times these custom fields need to be included into the master data objects also. When you download your, when you create your HANA migration cockpit, the first thing you do is you create your project. And under the project, you say that, okay, I want to load the material. So you activate a material template. So what actually happened at the back end, we have a material object in HANA migration cockpit that a copy of a material object, copy of a standard material object has been created in your, under your project. So with the LTMOM transaction, you would be able to change your template. The template, this is a standard template. Standard template would be coming with many fields. A lot of fields you will require, boss, this column, I'm not going to fill, right? This column, material group, is mandatory for me. And then I need to add additional columns. I need to add additional uh, custom fields, I need to add it, okay? I need to add the uh, custom field, I need to add it. So that custom fields, when you would be adding it here, you would be able to add more fields in your template. Okay, that is the front end thing. This would be done by the functional consultants. What technical consultants they need to do, technical consultants, whenever they are creating the custom field, if they do it with the standard way of uh, given by SAP, Anytime and you are adding a custom field, it also update the functional modules and the BAPIs, which is used to upload the data. Okay, that they need to make sure that once you are adding a custom field and object, the functional modules and BAPIs also get it updated. Automatically, the custom fields are available in the BAPIs. So once you add it, then you need to also map this field that the BAPI we are using, which field in the BAPI, this field would be mapped and the data will go. If when you will go into our A to Z Fury, in A to Z Fury, you would be able to understand we have a, uh, I have a one chapter of uh, custom fields and logics through Fury. That is for the technical consultants in A to Z Fury. With that, there is a, we call it as a user extensibility. With the user extensibility, it is easy to add custom fields. And from that way, when you add the custom fields, SAP has ensured as soon as in one object you are adding it, whatever the standard BAPIs and function modules linked with that user extensibility and specifically for which is used for the HANA migration cockpit, all the BAPIs get automatically updated. All the BAPIs get automatically updated. Okay, that you would be able to see it if the a custom fields has been added in the standard way that would be available in the BAPI. You need to make sure the functional consultant would be modifying the template, adding a columns, additional column for the functional modules and doing a mapping with the functional modules and BAPI with the LTMOM transaction. That is how the custom fields in the HANA migration cockpit can be handled. Thank you, sir. Any questions, any doubts? Thank you.